What's up, spectators? Welcome back to one of the episode of... I almost said Persona Q. Ghost Trick! We need to save Cabanella with the help of Missile here. But mm, we have to do it just right. So the evil Sissel fires the gun. Mm. The bullet. <gasps> Swap the bullet with something. Okay. All right, well, let's wait. Let's, let's wait for the, the magic to happen. Actually, in fact, he should be flying away soon, but hold on a minute. Hmm. What are you gonna do? Here comes the gun. All right, then he flies away. There's gotta be something I could do, here. Wait, wait, wait. I'm a little scared right now. Why didn't he die? Because he's already dead. He died 10 years ago. I knew full well he wouldn't die if I shot him. Then why did you go to the trouble of shooting him at all? Time's almost up. But now the situation has changed slightly. These last split seconds are our chance. For what? Helmet. <gasps> the book is the same shape as the bullet, probably. Um. Let's see what happens. Come on, take the gun. Then the gun goes flying. This was another condition of my deal. To wipe out everybody who knew about Tempsik. He's going to shoot, it's too late. What? No, our, ch yeah, our chance is coming up, you freaking Last split second. There it is, would you look at that? The bullet is hanging in midair between the gun and the inspector's forehead. Now's our chance. I'm here in the bullet right now. Let's swap this little thing with something else. The helmet. It's our only hope. There's gotta be something here with the same shape and direction as the bullet. I never saw a bullet before. It has such a cute little shape, doesn't it? I can check out the bullet's shape on the top screen. Okay, got it. Now I know what it's shaped like. There are actually a couple things I could use. Aren't there? The kettle top? Maybe not. Okay. Swap that hanging bullet with something else. Yeah, okay! Stop! Oops. There it is. Oh! <laughs> A gun that shoots helmets. Deadly. That didn't go well. We tried swapping what we could find, but we just made things worse. Mm. Ugh. I guess better look for something softer. I guess I better rewind the- What? It was the perfect shape! Okay. Let me see here. Yes, I'm here. Shh, silence. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Not a lot of useful things up here. Let me go ahead and open this spout lid. Okay, I don't know why, but I did it. Don't do the swivel. Do not do the swivel. 
What am I supposed to do? There's seriously nothing else here that I can use the, to swap out anything. Hold on. I mean, the hat, yes. I need to get the hat. I need the hat on the other side. I need to swap it with the helmet, but how do I do that? That's what I need to know, and it's infuriating. Wait, what? No. What if I can use the kettle for something? Okay, uh, swap. Nope. I, what I'm doing right now is seeing if the kettle will switch with anything. Which it clearly is not doing. Alright, well, there's not a whole lot of options here. So, let's go back. If I don't get it this time, I'm gonna have to do another fast forward. Oh! This is our. Yes! Okay, this is a very important. Okay. Okay. I know exactly what I have to do. Trick, trick, trick! Ghost! Almost. Ghost! Into the helmet. Rocket! Rocket! Woo! That was close. Okay. Now, how do I get it over there? Um, let me think. Let me think. How do I get it over there now? I don't see a way to do that right now. Maybe I should try waiting? Right, let's try waiting and see what happens. I really don't have any more options here. And I don't think Sissel has any options here either. I mean, sure, I could swivel the lamp, but I don't think that's what I'm supposed to do, so... There's no way to get to that helmet! Or the- that cap. Unless... Unless... No, we can't go down, see? So close! I can see if I can do something with it, but I'm sure it's just examine. Or I can't even reach it for that matter. Understand. Are you serious? Well, that's going to be a fast forward then.
All right, let's do a fast forward. There, so now I should be able to swap the bullet with a knit cap. All right, all right. Yes, yes, your deal, kill everybody. Yeah, yeah, get out of the country. All right, all right, yes, it's caught. Mm -hmm. Shut up, shut up, shut up. All right, oh no. Okay. All right, this time it's a hat. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh, that's funny. I don't think he noticed. Looks like you pulled off another magic disappearing act. <laughs> and now I say again, I love knit hats. So warm and most of all soft. Did I do all right? You did a fine job, little one. You saved another life. I can't believe this little dog is such an important character in this game. It's so funny and adorable. And I'll keep doing it too. Over and over. What I saw in just these four minutes gave me all the answers I've been looking for. All our research these past 10 years pales in comparison, right, Professor? So you two are working together? That's about the size of it, yeah. Who would believe a story about a manipulator? So we pursued it ourselves, just the two of us. I'm quite a crazy character myself, after all. Let's hurry back, back to our time. We have to rescue Miss K. You're right, Missile. And there's a certain guy I have to follow, too. Uh, who? Ugh. After completing his revenge on Inspector Cabanella, the man in red left. And now, a new story is about to unfold, in a new present. How are you feeling, you old crazy character? Hey there, Prof. We're both alive, I see. Yeah, nothing like it, baby. But I don't know if I'm getting old or what. I've got a few aches and pains here and there. Used to be a little thing like an explosion wouldn't bother me. Yeah, right. Like I'm going to believe that. So what, the guy in red is gone? Just in case, I posted special investigation units all around the building. Let's just pray the boys came through for us. Damn it, you picked a bad time not to listen to me, body of mine. Your bones are broken, you lunatic. Well, looks like both of their deaths were erased. Unfortunately, in the case of the inspector in white, I can't call it a complete success. But in any case, these two have been information I need to start tracking the manipulator, right? If I knew things were going to end up like this, I would have tried to die in that explosion, baby. That way I could have been dancing after Big Red by now. Hmm. I might be able to erase deaths, but it's true I can't do much about injuries. But really, you shouldn't talk that way. Yeah, sorry, I suppose you're right. I just hate feeling so helpless. He was right there within my grasp. All our plans were resting on tonight, and then this had to happen. I guess he's thinking about his spotless record. 
It's not too late, Inspector. We still have a chance. Maybe I can catch him. Say, you're right. That's not a bad idea. I'll cooperate with you fully. Go ahead and fire away with any questions you like, Mr. Ghost. That guy mentioned revenge. Revenge against the people who stole his life away ten years ago. He's a fool. He's the one who made the decision to take that little girl hostage, and he wound up dead. He only has himself to blame. But what about when he said this? I was murdered by all of you! Yes, ten years ago on that day, the SIU was working on a certain big case. We hauled in a young man, an important witness to our investigation. And then I did it. I made two very stupid mistakes. Detective, I'm telling you, I don't know anything about it. Fine, you're under no obligation to talk, of course. But if you don't, the SIU could make the rest of your life a living hell. But I... I'd just been assigned to the SIU, you see. They didn't share much info on big cases with a newbie like me yet, and I want to impress them. It was only supposed to be a simple matter of taking a statement. But I was too green. I pushed him too hard. I drove him into a corner and made him lose all hope. That was my first mistake. And then I made another mistake on top of that. Cabanella, got a minute? The chief wants you to see you about your report. Got it, I'll be right there. You stay right here and be a good boy now. And that's when I did it. I left it behind in the interrogation room. My gun. How could you? He used my gun to escape. What he said is true. If I hadn't made that mistake, he never would have had a gun to point at Lin in the first place. We first found out about the manipulator's existence during a certain overseas communication. For national security purposes, this country keeps tabs on the communications network. This particular communication was about making a deal with a certain foreign country. He said he wanted them to buy him, him and his powers. That's how we first heard about him. Of course, we didn't know what he looked like at the time. And in order to prove these powers of his, he gave them two predictions. He foresaw two completely preposterous, impossible cases. The case of a man who would sing national secrets during a live rock concert broadcast. And the case of a man who would take the chief commissioner hostage in his own office. We kept tabs on their communications and launched an investigation. And then, finally, we pinpointed where they were going to meet tonight, and staked it out. That restaurant, the Chicken Kitchen. The manipulator plans on leaving this country tonight. On a submarine that belongs to the under other country in this deal. But we haven't been able to find out where it's going to surface. It's terrifying to think what would happen if his powers were to fall into their hands. Right. Highly unlikely that use them for peaceful purposes. And now they have that little girl as a hostage. We have to stop him before he leaves the country. And I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here, so stay tuned for the next episode, and thanks for watching. Bye bye!